and welcome to, to Sunday. Oh, I almost said Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. It's Sunday. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope that you have enjoyed all of our different kinds of weather we have had this week. We've had rain. We've had sunshine. We've had cloudy. We've had all the things, haven't we? But it has been nice. I hope that your school week has gone well, that you have continued to work hard um, from home. Jenny and Mary Kate finished up this week, so we are happy to be past that in our house. Um, I had um, been thinking that maybe we would add a little bit of um, a change to our book that we have been using. Now, we have been using a very lovely book called the Jesus Storybook Bible, which is a great book that, you know, we have used a lot of stories in that book, and not that we don't still have some we haven't used yet, but I thought what we would add a little bit of um, some difference to it because it's good to change things up every so often. So we have a new book that we're going to be using off and on some, um, probably mostly on Sundays, not on Wednesdays. Um, maybe on some Wednesdays, I don't know. But um, it's called The Beata Tales. Now, I know that sounds like a funny word. That doesn't sound like a normal word, right? So there is a list in the Bible called the Beatitudes. And it's about positive um, things that people um, can benefit from, is an easy way to put what the beatitude, Beatitudes are. So we're going to be using this book some on Sundays. Now, the only part that was not good about this book is it doesn't have pictures. It's just a storybook. It's not a picture book. So I am very fortunate that I have a couple ladies that live with me who like to draw, and they have very kindly um, offered to help me with pictures with some of our stories out of this book. So I'm going to show you the picture first from our story, and then we're going to talk. We're going to read the story, which is not super long, but you'll have to just kind of look at the pretty trees around me and the things like that while I read the story, and then we'll talk about the picture again. Okay? So here's our picture for today's story. Just take a picture, look at it. And think about that picture while Miss Eden's reading the story, and then we'll look at it again um, when we're done reading it. Okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to read the story now. If I'm looking around, it's because Ellie's been barking at a cat, so she's a little bit distracting. All right, so here we go. The name of this story is The Wizard's Glasses. A great wizard was tired of seeing all the ugliness in the world, so he decided to do something about it. He found a pair of eyeglasses and put a spell on them. He intended for the spell to change the way that people saw the world. Anyone who looked through the glasses would see only beautiful things. The ugliness around them would turn into beauty he tried on the glasses and found that they worked. He saw many beautiful things around him. He wanted to share the glasses with others in hopes that they would be more kind and loving if they saw only beauty around them. So he took his glasses to the market in the center of the nearby town to test them out. He asked some of the people there to try them on. The first person he asked was happy to help. She put on the glasses and smiled. Just like the wizard, she saw the beauty of the world around her. The next person tried to avoid the wizard. He did not want to try on the glasses. I don't trust you or your magic, he said. The woman was still there and convinced the man to try on the glasses anyway. He put them on and choked in disgust. All I see is ugliness, he said. He tossed the glasses back to the wizard and went away angrily. A crowd had gathered around them. They were all suspicious and hoping to cast the wizard out of town as soon as possible. Some of them tried on the glasses and, like the man, saw only ugliness. Person after person in the crowd tried them on, and in anger each one of them only saw ugliness around them. 
This made the wizard angry too. He took back the glasses and stormed out of town. I, I will keep them for myself, he said, and he put the glasses back on. But to his astonishment, he could see only ugliness around him too. What is wrong with these things, he said aloud, and then he realized what was wrong. The woman who had tried them on first was happy. She had an open mind and an open heart and was able to see the beauty all around her. The others didn't have open minds or hearts. They were angry and when they tried on the glasses, they saw only ugliness. Likewise, when he was angry, he only saw the ugliness in the world. The wizard hid the glasses and never wore them again. He didn't need glasses to tell him that his inner thoughts and feelings influenced the way that he saw the world. The beatitude that this story is about is, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Now, we're gonna look at our picture one more time. All right? So me and Kate very kindly drew this picture of me. Now you see, there's our happy lady who saw all that beauty in the world, and you see this man over here? He thought, mm, I'm not so sure about that. I don't believe that's true. So he went into the situation with a bad attitude. Now, we have all had lots of things taken away from us um, as all of this crazy new stuff has gone on. And the easy way to handle it is to go into it with a bad attitude, right? To be angry about it, to be upset about it. But I think the best thing that we can do right now is to think about how what the wizard realized at the end of the story that his thoughts and his feelings influenced the way he saw everything else. So when it's a pretty sunshiny day and you still have to do schoolwork and you don't want to do it, your attitude it might ruin that beautiful sunshiny day for you. So step back and think about how your feelings and your thoughts can influence your day. We're going into summer. Let's think about all those positive things that can happen in summer and not think about all the things that we can't do. Let's think about all those good things we can do. I miss all of y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed our new stories. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into some of the other Beatitudes and doing those with you. I hope that you are continuing to do well, and I hope I get to see you all soon, even if it's just through pictures or anything like that. Y'all take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.